My issues probably began right around when I was eight years old. My mother had a failed suicide attempt that really caused uh, a lot of issues for me. She had uh, lost her memory. She lost all feeling in the right side of her body. And uh, she didn't know who I was. I was uh, 12 years old when she passed away. And that's when I, I just kind of lost all hope. A little bit after, you know, my dad got the phone call about my mom, he ended up uh, losing our apartment. We ended up becoming homeless. I started off, you know, doing the, the little drugs. I started drinking, smoking weed. Um, drugs just keep getting worse and worse. It goes from pain pills to cocaine, from cocaine and pain pills to heroin and meth. And uh, along with my, my rap sheet, you know, it's just the charges and more drugs just keep entering into my life. Everybody pretty much gave up on me. I had a no contact order with my dad. Uh, my brother, who used to look up to me, uh, wanted nothing to do with me. That's when I really started uh, suffering with depression and uh, thinking about suicide. You know, I, I remember crying out um, on the street, just broken, alone, broken, had nothing, had nobody, and just saying, Lord, just take the drugs away from me, take the pain away from me, I will follow you. I ended up back in jail, and that's when uh, I got the opportunity of a lifetime from the Seattle's Union Gospel Mission. I, I knew when I walked in there, I made the right decision, I came to the right place. And that's when God started uh, working in my life. Then I got started with Search and Rescue. I absolutely loved it. After uh, I graduated, the program, they hired me on full time. There's no better job I could even think of. I got a clean slate. Me and my dad have a, a good relationship today. We're talking again. I'm at a great church. God has just done so much in my life, and I'm just so grateful. And uh, I just want to give back as much as possible and help uh, the addicts still suffering.